in a two degrees Celsius warmer world, the Earth will have fundamentally changed. The way that the Earth processes water will have changed, and so we'll have droughts uh, that will be devastating. We'll have floods that will put cities in danger. And there will be fundamental issues around the ability of poor people to sustain themselves. The thing I worry most about is a two degree Celsius world, which could be upon us as early as the 2030s and 2040s, will prevent us from lifting people out of poverty. And our goal of ending poverty by 2030 will be out of reach. I'm very concerned about the impact of a two degree Celsius warmer world on Africa. You know, by the 2030s, we could see a situation where extreme heat and drought could leave 40% of the land that's currently used in growing maize incapable of growing maize. Furthermore, the extreme heat is going to destroy the savanna grasslands that are supporting pastoral livelihoods. In South Asia, shifting rain patterns can leave some cities underwater and others without enough water for power generation, agriculture, and even for drinking. You know, the extreme flooding that affected Pakistan in 2010 that affected 20 million people could become commonplace. Shifting rain patterns with drought and flooding in India could once again put millions and millions of people at risk for famine. In Southeast Asia, we're very worried that rural livelihoods will be threatened as sea levels rise, tropical cyclones increase in intensity, and marine ecosystems are lost. You know, we think that cities, uh, Bangkok, uh, uh, Ho Chi Minh City, Jakarta, and Manila, will be especially threatened by the rising sea levels. There are some estimates that the fisheries, for example, around the Philippines could be reduced by as much as 50 percent. With the loss of the, um, uh, the coral reefs, uh, uh, tourism will go down. 